G'day humans, Chris Stead here. In this video, you're gonna hear Qualcomm pitch its Snapdragon X Elite chip as being superior to the Intel Core Ultra 7 and Apple's M3. Let's dive in. So there's a heck of a lot happening in a laptop space right now with the Copilot Plus AI-driven experience coming from Microsoft, thriving in some of the devices and laptops that we're seeing hit the market. Now Lenovo is one such laptop manufacturer making a device and it was launching the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7X in Sydney, Australia, hosted a bit of an event. Now at that event, Microsoft came to tell us a little bit about the uh, Copilot Plus and also Terry Yen, who I believe is the VP over at uh, Qualcomm was also in-house to talk us through uh, the Snapdragon X Elite chip, which has been used in the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7X and many other devices in the market in the forefront of leading us into this AI generation with Copilot Plus. So in this video, I'm going to let Terry pitch to you, as he pitched to us, the journalists, why he believes that the Snapdragon X Elite is not only a contender or a competitor to these other chips in the market such as the Intel Core Ultra 7 and the Apple M3 chip but actually far superior and allowing for manufacturers to do much more with the uh, with the laptops they're creating. Anyway, let's dive in and hear from Terry. Okay. Thanks everyone. Um, my name is Terry. You can tell from my accent that I'm, I'm not Australian uh, and uh, well, I'm actually based in, in Qualcomm's headquarters in San Diego. Uh, so uh, I've heard so much about the, uh, the, uh, the tech market and the, the, the PC market in Australia, how the, 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 um, the community here is very, very interested in adopting new technologies and, and they're very open to, to trying different things, especially on the technology side. And I'll tell you, the time that I've been here couldn't, couldn't be more true. And so it's, it's, this is a, a great place for, for Qualcomm to learn a lot and to, to get involved in, 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 the, uh, in the PC industry. I want to thank um, Maroon and the, uh, the Lenovo team as well. Um, I just want, want, want to echo the, the long-term partnership that we've had. And Lenovo is one of the companies that we've actually worked with both on the mobile side, which is our heritage, and now on the PC side as well. And Lenovo's, you know, stood by us when others wouldn't. So, so, um, so really happy to, to be part of, uh, of, of this with Lenovo as well. Hey, when, when Dan talked, um, you know, he was talking. He, he was very focused, you know, focused on the software and the applications. But we all know, for a, for a ideal or close to ideal as possible consumer user experience, is that is that integration of software and hardware that that is that that is really really, really critical. So, what's Qualcomm's role in this? I, I want to do two, a couple of things. One is talking about well, why Qualcomm? Why why are we here? Uh, you guys know us from the mobile space, but but what's our role in the PC space? Two is what our differentiators are, and three is what, what have we learned from our past experiences that, that that's kind of gotten us to, to, to this point to, today, right? So first of all, um, you know we're new, um, but but we're not overnight sensations either. We've actually been starting. We actually started work with Microsoft on on Windows and ARM way back in the uh, oops, sorry, way way back in the. Uh, in 2011, 2012, where that 835 chip uh, came came along, came along, and in the early days, uh, our focus was uh, our approach was actually to use the mobile chips that we developed and designed, and then repurpose them for the PC space. Right? There was some good, some bad, a lot of learnings that that, that went into it. But one of the things we realized is that hey, we really want to. To, to commit to this market and, and, and go all in on this market, we, we, we decided to, to, to build from the ground up, clean sheet of paper, and design a, a PC-focused chip, which is what you see today, the Snapdragon X Elite. Okay. So that, that's one of the big things. We, we, we're, we're taking the best of what we know from the mobile space, uh, what we the best of what we offer to consumers from that perspective, and then taking it to the to the PC space and, uh, and have an offering for for PC side. So so you know what do I mean? Uh, we'll talk a little bit about power consumption and, and others, but but you know, keep in mind that when we develop a chip, this is the this is the form factor. This is the envelope that we're designing for, right? 
small, light, a battery life that, that lasts for days. Powerful, you know, the, um, you know the, the modem in here is very, very CPU intensive, right? Um, and and um, uh, you know, just, just being able to connect, and you, you, you think about the seamless use case for, for smartphones today. We want to be able to take that into the, in, into the PC, world, uh, PC world as well. So let's take this step by step. What, 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 what did we, we do? This is a, uh, many of you are probably familiar, this is, this, will, this would be a very typical PCB board when you take off, when, when you take off the plastic on the, on, on the devices. This, this, is what, this is what you'll see, right? Um, the components in red are actually the semiconductor content, right? This is where circuits are involved and, and, uh, and, and, and the, um, the, the, where a lot of the calculations, the magic happens. Um, Again, because we are designing to this form factor, to, to this form factor, we took all those components that were red and shrunk it down to one chip, which is which is about the size of a post system. So, I'm going to pass this around, and, and this is uh, it's buried in the acrylic, but this is the actual Snapdragon X Elite chip that is in these devices that you that, that we're talking about today. So, feel feel free to take to to, to take a look. Um, and, and, and that 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 is that that's essentially the whole the the, the, the whole device that we're, we're offering. So everything that we've been talking about that you saw in the red in the PCB, the CPU, the GPU, uh, memory. And I'll talk about the, the MPU a little bit. But all the sensor hubs, connectivity, ISPs, things like that. We we all put into in, into this one package. So. The Qualcomm, you're going to hear a term a lot, which is like the system on a chip, right? SOC. And so that's what, that's what essentially this means. Two big uh, advantages in, in, in this approach. One is obviously the size and the form factor. Um, and what our expectation is, is that by getting this out to, to, to the PC community, to the OEMs, um, maybe not, not now or a year from now, but going into the future, Probably going to see a lot more innovation in terms of form factors and, and different sizes and different ways to, to you know the, the PCs kind of look like PCs, right? Um, you, you know what to expect, but but going out by 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 having this smaller form factor, having that smaller footprint, um, giving P, uh, giving the OEMs the options of doing a lot a lot of different things, whether they want to put more ports in, put a bigger battery in, but those are those are the design options that we're we're giving them by by um, by, by this approach. Um, second thing is just efficiency in the in in, in the um, in the system, right? Um, you saw from the original uh, picture all those semiconductor components. They're in different parts of the PCB, but they actually all have to work together. Now they can't. The GPU can't work by itself. The the uh, the, uh, the the CPU the, the the memory can't work by itself. There's a lot of communication that goes on on the board, right? But it's a lot easier to, to do that, to work together when you're all in the same package, right? You know, and when, when the design concepts are all, all, all the same. What that results in is a pretty significant, um, pretty significant improvement in battery life and, and reduction in power consumption, right? And we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. So not, not, not to pick on the uh, incumbent competition, right? But we wanted to just kind of give benchmarks on some expectations on, hey, this is what I see now, this is what I experience now, and where, where, well, when you talk, Qualcomm, when you talk about power consumption, what do you really mean, right? So, so here's a, a bunch of different app, uh, different use cases, you know, using, using Microsoft 365, video playback, YouTube, web browsing. What we find is that in those use cases, when, when the PC is at peak performance, Okay, in those use cases, that we're finding on average, we're, we're, we're operating about 60%, 68% less power at peak performance to do the same functions. Now, we don't quote battery life on devices. That's, that's up, to, up, up to the OEMs, right? and, and, uh, and they, they have their own design things and, and their, their, their own applications. So, so, so definitely, we'll, 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 we, we, we don't want to, um, to, to, to speak for our customers. But this is something that, that is actually easily measured and, and benchmarked. And I'm sure now that the device is out, these benchmarks are going are, 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 are to be a dime a dozen. You're going to see quite, quite a few of these. But you know, on, the, on the battery life, um, 
we weren't so much hitting, trying to hit a, a, a benchmark, but, but it, it's, it's, we want to be able to give it, give the c customers now, just start changing the paradigm to multi-day battery life as opposed to, you know, hours of, ba of, of, of battery life, right? Um, and think of the case where, you know, you, uh, yeah, I go into a, a coffee shop today, um, you know, people are more concerned about plugging in their, their, their PCs than they are plugging in their phones. Right. Um, and and we, we want to give people that, the user, this confidence that, okay, hey, you know, my, my phone's going to last through the day, my PC will too. Right. Uh, and and that, 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 that's, that, 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 that is really kind of what guided us in, 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 in this area uh, of you know, focusing on, hey, how, could, how can we um, adapt that, that consumer behavior to what they're expecting on the phone as well. You know? Okay, so now, um, you know, one of the things we are doing though is we want to make sure that our, our CPU and, and our, our processing uh, technologies actually uh, are right up there with what the, where, where, where the industry is, right? And, and, and certainly, you know, um, uh, there's, there's a company out there that, that's, that's, uh, that, that, that sets some benchmarks, you know, for us. And they're also uh, an ARM-based processor like, 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 like we are. Um, and uh, you take a look, and you know th these are um, are some uh, you know Geekbench uh, um, some some Geekbench uh, benchmarks. But if you look at multi-threaded CPU performance, which is how these CPUs are mostly operating in, that our, our Snapdragon Elite X, the, the device being launched today, uh, th th this week, um, you know we're about you know 20, 27, 28 percent better. Than are uh, you know, uh, higher performance than than the uh, than the M3 and the MacBook Pro, okay, and and the, and look, look these these are our are, are benchmarks. They're never static, right? Um, they're all going to you know we do this and others are going to do something else and 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 uh, but but you know Qualcomm actually really uh, we we kind of value that competition um, because the, at the end of the day. Uh, we're here. We, we set a benchmark. Somebody's going to chase us. They may surpass us. We're going to keep moving forward. And at the end of the day, it's going to be the consumers that, that win with, with, with better products. And we're okay with that. Um, the, the key here too is that is that this is one axis, right? You're looking at CPU performance. But but where where we feel like Qualcomm is the best is being able to to get that peak performance while also improving battery life. Right. So, so yeah, you can probably drive performance higher than that, but but what does that do to your battery life? What does that do to your device power consumption? And that's something I think Qualcomm, through our heritage of what we're bringing in on the on the mobile side, has has, has really uh, um, you know I, I think we, we've done a pretty good job on that, right? And it's something that we're, we're bringing into <coughs> into the PC space. And Dan. The, Alluded a lot to the to the MPU uh, neural processing unit, and we we think of these this as, as, as another brain in the in, in the uh, in the PC. So I'm gonna take a, a step back into why did we why have we been looking at this MPU? We we didn't just create an MPU yesterday. We've actually been working on something like this for a long long time, and and, and the models, and again pulling us back to the to, to the mobile heritage. Um, our our focus. We have a lot of focus on, on on device activities. What 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 can be done on the device, uh, and and, um, and and what can be uh, what I should say this. What what um, work can we can we offload from the network, right, and from from the cloud, okay? And that that's that has been you know on the mobile side, um, carriers want to keep their uh, that their networks as, as free as clear as possible right uh, they don't want to, to, to fill it too much with with, with, with uh, data they don't have to they just want to, they, they, they want to be able to to offer the, the network services to, to as many customers as possible um, and uh, on on the the MPU right we were trying to make a very powerful uh, a very powerful processing unit uh, with the with a number of language models, uh, LLMs of so the, the learning language models, um, and, and and plus matched with the lower power consumption on the device 
to enable a lot of the, the, the Microsoft uh, services and the Copilot Plus capabilities that, that, that uh, the Dan was talking about and be able to do as much of that on the edge, on the device as possible, right? And that's why we, we, we've been focusing so much on the, uh, on, on, on the, uh, on, on the MPU. Um, and 45 tops is where we are today. Uh, Microsoft set a bar for 40 tops, which is, which is to, to offer the, the, to be able to support the, the, the co-pilot capabilities. Uh, and, and again, that's another benchmark that we're always gonna improve uh, but mostly driven by where Microsoft is in, in terms of the offering the services. I mean, app site. Um, uh, again, uh, you know, Dan talked about 90%, but this is, a, it, when we talk about learnings in the past, this is something we really focused on. Making sure that, that, that the application's experience with, this, with the consumers it, it is rock solid. Uh, and uh, that, that's been the focus for the last few years, working with Microsoft, making sure that, again, that 90% of those, of, of those uh, uh, apps will uh, will be worked natively on on, on Snapdragon, right? Uh, and for those who have used Snapdragon in the past, uh, th 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 I will admit this has been an issue, and this is something that we we focused a lot of our energy on. And in emulation, uh, uh, you know, very close work with Microsoft on on Prism, but we're we're at a point now where we believe that we're actually performing. Better and more efficient than, than than what the competition is offering in terms of emulation on ARM, right? Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll end with that because at this point, um, you know, we talk hopefully you no know Qualcomm, uh, how we're different, what we'll bring to the party, and what we've uh, tried to learn over the last few years to make this really successful experience with Microsoft. Um, and you know, software, hardware. Now we turn it over to to, to Maroon and. Talk to and uh, show you about. Hey, this is what uh, has what, uh, what what the magic Lenovo has done with the tools as well. Okay, thank thank you very much.